Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. Today you will learn how to record macros in Excel using Macro Recorder. Before that I guess you guys have a lot of questions with macros, such as, what is a macro? What is the need for macro and when to use it? How to create macros and what are the easy ways? Well in easy words a macro is a set of instructions you can use to automate a task. Macros are often necessary when you have tedious tasks that requires you to perform an action over and over repeatedly. You may save a lot of time with macros. There are two ways to create the macro. Method 1. Using Macro Recorder. Method 2. Writing VBA code manually. Now let's see how to record a macro using Macro Recorder. Now let's assume that you need to create or apply border like this. I guess this would take you a lot of time and effort. If there is any alternate shortcut method, you let me know. There are many ways to record the macro. You may go to the View tab and then record the macro from there. Or, you may go to the Developer tab and then record the macro from there as well. Or you may also record the macro by clicking on the macro icon situated on the status bar. If you can't see the Developer tab, you can enable it by clicking on the Office button and then clicking on the Excel options, then on Popular tab, check Show Developer tab in the ribbon, and then click OK. Before starting to record the macro, make sure to enable Use Relative References. This helps you run the macro wherever you want. Note, if Use Relative References option is not going to be held, the macro will run only at the place where you recorded. To start recording, click on Record Macro. Type a name for the macro. Assign the keyboard shortcut. Usually the keyboard shortcut should be Control plus Shift plus any key. You may type a description if you want. Then finally click on OK button. Note, the macro name should start with an alphabet only, and not the number. It should not have a space. It should not have special character and finally you should not use visual basic specific keywords or reserved words, such as sheet, cell, workbook, chart, etc. Before starting to record the macro, identify the sequences of the task, identify the cyclic pattern of the task, and then start recording. In my opinion, any repeated task will have a cyclic pattern. Make sure you are well planned and record your action in an order perfectly. Never jumble or miss any step that you have planned. It also matters where you start recording the macro. Once you have performed all your actions, click on Stop Recording. To run the macro that you have recorded, you may either use the keyboard shortcut that you have assigned, or you may go to Developer tab and click on Macros, or you may press the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F8. Then select the macro from the list, and click on Run. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe.